Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Lemon Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials where in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create a Hello World application within the Swift language. Now what we're going to be doing is continuing on from our previous tutorial where we created actions and outlets. We have our button that when we simply press it displays a certain piece of text which we set within a string within the label. Now what I mean by creating a hello world application is the fact that we can have a text field and have our user input their own text within the text field and then press a button or anything like that and it will display whatever the user inputted in their text button field within to the label. So you see here it's a sing simple single view application, uh, it's using the Swift language and again we're continuing on from our previous uh, tutorial. So what we're going to need to do to enable us to do this is simply add in a text field within our view. So if we just scroll down now and find it, I think it's at the top. There it is, and we completely went past it. So the first thing I'm going to do is just simply highlight everything and then clear the constraints as I want to maneuver some objects around the view. So okay, basically what's going to happen, then we're going to have our button here. Okay, it's going to be at the top. We'll have our text field underneath our button. Now I drag that all the way across there and then our label underneath. So basically what's going to happen then, we're going to implement or add in some of our own text within the text field, press the button and then it will display that text within our label. So what we're going to need to do is create an outlet for our text field. So I'm going to bring up the assistant editor and make sure that we're in the view controller.swift class. And I'm simply right click or control click and drag our text field over and I'll pull it underneath our label outlet. And I simply call this text field. So again, it's just simply easy enough to understand when we code it. Okay, then. So you see in our function here that we have our label.text to equal hello. Because that's previously we got it to simply make our text or our label once we press our button to equal hello. But instead of making it equal hello, what we simply want it to do is equal the text from within our text field. Now, just like we're doing at Objective-C, we'll normally do label.text equals textField.text semicolon. And within Swift, again, it's exactly the same. But instead of having the semicolon, we just don't really need that. We can get rid of it. So what we simply do is have our label.text just to simply equal our textField.text. So basically what's happening then is getting our label and then selecting the text feature. So it's getting our text feature for our label, then it's making that text feature or the text within our label equal the text from within the text field. So that's really simple enough and easy to understand there. So this all happens once we press our button. So if we close this, so before we do this, we need to select all our objects and then add back in the constraints. Just so it resizes for whatever view we're running on. So now we're going to show you, go to build and run on the simulator and we can test it out. So okay, then, so once it loads up, we have our button, our text field and our label. So at the moment, there's nothing from within our text field. So once we press our button, it will make our label blank. So if you press it, again, you can see it clearly goes blank because there's no text within our text field. So if we click on our text field now and it will bring up our keyboard, we can simply type out different types of text if I can do it correctly. So we can simply go hello world and then once we press our button the text from our text field is then copied into our label as we set it up to have our labels text basically equal the text from within our text field. So just to show you it's not like it's in particular text we can delete all the text from within it we can type out a load of gibberish and all sorts and then press our button and it will display it within our label. So if we jump back into our view controller.swift and let's look at the code once more. You can see it's not that much different from Objective-C. There's still going to be different things with Objective-C and Swift that are going to be the same because, you know, as Swift is a basic or kind of off language of the C language, just like Objective-C is, there is going to be similarities. This is why if you already have a basic knowledge of Objective-C, uh, Swift is going to come very natural to you. So again, back in the simulator, so okay, so the only problem we got now is the fact that we can't get rid of the keyboard. So if I press return, the keyboard doesn't seem to disappear. So in the next tutorial, what we're going to be doing is working on creating an action on our keyboard or within our text field to dismiss the keyboard when we are finished with it. And by creating an action for our keyboard, we can also link multiple actions and take it one step further.
So for now, this is simply how you create a Hello World application from within the Swift language. Hey guys, just before we click off this video, I have a few more bits of information that I'd love to share with you. But just before I do, if this tutorial helped you in any way, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and follow us on social media. All the links will be in the description below. If you want more up-to-date and in-depth tutorials on iOS 8, Xcode 6 and the Swift language, then make sure you guys enroll in our complete iOS 8 and Xcode 6 course. The links will be in the description below. And if you guys want to learn on the go, make sure you download our Xcode tutorial application from the App Store where you can get much more than what we offer on YouTube. Again, links for this will be in the description below. And if you guys want to kick back and blow off a bit of steam, make sure you go check out my gaming channel where we have a lot of fun, play with a lot of friends and generally just have a good time. So make sure again, you go subscribe to that channel. But once more, I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.